Okay, now you're back because you've finished knitting the heel flap and you're ready to turn the heel. This is what your heel flap should look like now. The needles two and three are the same because you've just left them after you knit the cuff and you've worked back and forth on needle one and you have definitely a flap. And these long stitches should all line up because that is the eye of partridge stitch that you knit the whole time. Okay, and you worked row one of the heel flap one extra time to make you ready to work a wrong side row. Okay, now if you look at the pattern, it gets you all ready to start your counter over again, get you back to zero. You do want to be careful to keep track of your rows while you're turning the heel. Now, turning the heel, uh, is, this is called a short row heel, and it means that you're not going to work all the way to the end of each row before you turn your work. I know that's probably confusing. I'm going to show you what that looks like. But one thing you want to do is you, if you, you can't lose track of where you are while you're doing this. I can't offer you any other advice than just turn off the TV, get yourself to a quiet place, and work all of the heel rows all in one sitting. Putting it down and trying to pick it back up again is almost impossible to count. So let me get you started in showing you what short row heels look like. Okay, row one tells us to purl 12 stitches to start out with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. The next thing tells us to purl two stitches together. Okay purl another one, and turn. Now we just had 20 stitches on the needles here, and so we did 12, 13, 14, 15. We have not worked all the way across this row, right? So turn the whole thing. It's very strange, I know. Okay, the next row tells us to slip one as if to purl, knit five, Now I'm going to knit two together, knit one, and turn the work again. Haven't worked all the way across. And don't forget, we just finished row two, so keep track on your counter. Row three, slip one, purl six. Purl two together, you'll notice a pattern here. The biggest gap on the row is where you end up purling two together. But you always want to keep track with counting two. Purl one and turn. Okay, this is what turning the heel is like. You're going to work all the way across. You're going to do a, a decrease, either a knit two together or a purl two together, over the biggest gap on the row and then you're going to turn the work, always slipping the first stitch. Um, like I said, just set aside some time until you can do all of these rows all in one sitting. It shouldn't take you very long. When you're done, I believe you have 12 stitches left. Yes, 12 stitches left on the needle, and then we'll be ready to pick up stitches for the gusset.